Hi guys and welcome back to my channel and if you're new here my name is Hannah Renee and it is so nice to meet you. Today we're going to be talking about everything dealing with YouTube channels so I'm going to give you a few tips and tricks that I've learned after doing YouTube for three-ish years, two or three years now and just give you some tips for how you can have a successful YouTube channel in 2020. So, without further ado, let's just jump right on into this video. When you are starting a YouTube channel, or if you already have one, and you're just trying to figure out how you can grow, it's important that your channel has some sort of purpose or meaning. And a question that is important to ask yourself as a content creator is, how is my content bettering other people? Because if we are just posting content that is just for us to look at, then other people won't want to watch us because there's nothing they're getting out of it. Because technically as content creators, we're part of the entertainment industry. So we want to produce things that people want to watch, that people want to gravitate towards. So you have to ask yourself that question, what am I producing that people will want to watch, that will better themselves, all those types of things. And it's important that your channel just has a reason, a purpose for existing. And when you do have that purpose, then creating videos that go along with that purpose so that you can then grow and people know what kind of content you're going to be creating. It's very important to have a list of video ideas, that's one of the hardest things for content creators is to figure out new ideas, new video ideas, and it's easy to just throw something together just because that's all you can think of. But if you have a going list of video ideas, that will help you out when you are feeling uncreative and you don't have any idea. This video is one of the videos that has been on my video idea list for a while, so I've been wanting to film it, but yeah, it's definitely helpful if you have that list because every YouTuber feels uncreative at times. It's just inevitable. So when you do feel that way, you'll have a list to fall back on. This next one, I don't think a lot of people realize, but thumbnails are so important. They're the first thing that people are going to see when they are going to find your video or if it just pops up on the recommended page if your thumbnail is not attractive to people then they're not going to want to click on it i definitely click videos based off of the thumbnail if it doesn't look fun to me then i won't want to watch it so make sure that you actually put time into your thumbnails because these things are going to be what are eye-catching to your audience and it's very important that they look clean and slick but also fun and entertaining. Another thing that is helpful to get your name out there is commenting on other people's videos. And I learned this little rule of thumb from Annie Dubé, who her channel is now called The Blue Eyed Gal. And she creates videos that help YouTube creators grow. So if you want more videos like that, make sure to watch her channel. But she was telling us, I think this is a few months ago that she posted this video where she said if you comment within the first few hours of somebody and if you comment something relatable or funny or just things that people will want to like then your comment will get likes and you'll get higher and higher up on the comment page of that person's video and then you'll have more traction and people will click on your channel so if that makes sense. I didn't explain that very well, but if you do that and if you're consistently commenting on other people's videos, then people will click on your comment and go to your channel and you'll get more traffic. So that's a good rule of thumb just to get your name out there. And if you also comment on smaller people's videos, then you could make YouTube friends. So it's a win-win for everybody. Another thing that can be helpful is making sure you put tags on your videos. And I use a website called rabbittags.io. I'm pretty sure. This website helps you in putting tags that will make people want to come to your video. So what you do is you type in your title of your video and then it shows you all the related tags so that anyone that types in maybe visco girl or how to be a visco girl, transforming into a visco girl, all those tags, you can copy and paste those and put them into your video about 
a Miss Go Girl. So that's an example I have of that because I just did that. <laughs> so if you don't do that already, make sure that you're doing that because that will help also your video to get more traffic as well. Make sure your videos are somewhat organized and understandable to the audience. Sometimes people that are especially vloggers post videos that there's so much going on that you don't even know what's happening. This is definitely not everybody, but some people definitely do this. So make sure there's a common theme of your video, that there's a storyline at least for something happening throughout your video that the audience can follow along with because some people just put clips together and call it a video and that's not what YouTube is about. Next is to invite people into your channel. And this is the famous sayings of comment, like, subscribe, all those things, just do them. It's part of the YouTube society, the YouTube atmosphere. It helps remind people to come onto your channel and to be a part of the family. So make sure that you're saying those things somewhere throughout your video and just making sure people actually subscribe and stick around. YouTube and Instagram are super connected nowadays, so if you are working on YouTube, working on Instagram and posting content on there is helpful to the success of your channel. It's just because videos and pictures, they're just going together and most YouTubers are Instagrammers. So if you aren't doing both, then I suggest that you try it out because it helps get more people on Instagram that maybe don't watch YouTube, at least hear about your channel and hopefully subscribe to it. So it gives you even more traction as well if you're doing both social medias. And the last tip that I have for you, and if you haven't heard it in a million videos already, consistently uploading is so important. Your audience needs to know when you're going to be uploading and they want to start expecting that because that means they're going to come back to your channel. So you have to be consistently uploading and that can be so hard to do. But I definitely believe if there's a will, there's a way you can somehow upload videos, but also have grace for yourself if things are happening, if you're in finals week or if you're sick or going on a vacation, you can take breaks for that. I try to pre-film when I know things are going to be coming up, like I have a trip that I'm going to in California in a month and I'm going to be pre-filming so that I still have videos to post while I'm gone. So that's always an idea too, but just try as much as you can to consistently upload. Well, that is all the little tips I have for you and I really hope these are helpful. These are just things that I've caught up on over the few years that I've been on YouTube and as I've been watching videos on this very topic, these are the tips that I've learned. So I hope that these help you out. I hope that your channel grows in 2020. And if you liked this video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to this channel, and let me know of any other video ideas you like to see from me because I love to do those for you. And I will see you guys next Monday. Bye guys!